After a long break, Ukrainian forces arranged another massive raid on Crimea. The enemy tried to hit energy facilities and airfields on the peninsula, but the air defense successfully intercepted all targets. Ukrainian troops have once again attacked facilities in Rostov region. Almost all targets were shot down, but at least one military aircraft was damaged. In addition to drone strikes on the rear regions, the enemy attacked facilities in Kursk region. Six enemy missiles were intercepted in the sky over Kursk, with no consequences. The next day, AFU attacked objects in the region with drones. The railway station in Dmitriev was damaged and Mikhailovsky Gok was temporarily de-energized. Russian aerospace forces continue to strike at the enemy's infrastructure in the Odessa region. The alleged target of the raid were weapons depots and naval drone bases. At Kupiansk sector, Russian armed forces are trying to push through the enemy's defenses near Sinkivka, inflicting fire damage on the positions of Russian armed forces. To the east, there are battles in the forest belt near Ivanivka, where Ukrainian forces have redeployed reserves to hold the front line. In Solidar direction, Russian armed forces units are breaching enemy defenses in the area of Kudlin's Balka and Dubovo Vasilivka in the north. Moreover, severe battles are underway for control of Hryhorivka, Bodanivka, and Kromove, Chasiv Yar roads. To the south, Camerton assault units are preceding additional mopping of the Bakhmut cottages, expanding the control zone at the sector. After taking the dominant height in the Klishchivka area, Russian units continue their offensive west of the village. Russian army continues the operation to encircle the Avdivka fortified area. To the north of the city, Russian armed forces have taken up new positions near Stepov. The enemy is redeploying reserves, trying to slow down the offensive. On the southern flank, Russian units knocked out the remnants of the enemy from Vinohradniki. St. Russian artillery is launching holding blows on AFU in Kimik district preparing to cut Avdivka into two boilers. On the northern shore of Marinka Reservoir, Russian fighters are completing a sweep of the western outskirts of the settlement from the enemy. Ukrainian units were ejected of residential buildings, and at the moment, AFU control no more than 1% of the city's territory. In the South Donetsk direction, after taking control of the western part of Marinka, it was possible to develop an offensive near Novomikhailivka. Russian army managed to hold at the southeastern outskirts of the settlement and impose a firefight on the enemy.